In a coal mine, a drag line like this covers a lot of ground. These are strictly dirt moving machines and they never load a piece of equipment. They basically uh, uncover a pit of coal by dumping the dirt into the previous, previously loaded out pit. The bucket on this beast lifts roughly 330,000 pounds of dirt in a single scoop. This is a CQMS bucket, but it's called the Earth Eater. This is what the Earth Eater looked like when it arrived on site in June. Just a few weeks. It does not take very long and the pain is gone. In this area, the pit is about 150 feet wide and 85 feet down to the coal. The drag line will scoop dirt up until it can't reach anymore in the area and then it'll move. This drag line will move about the length of a football field in a 24 hour period. Operations manager Justin Burgraff thinks the style of this bucket will bring higher productivity to the Freedom Mine. As the technology continues to develop, we continue to look at it. We, when we look at these buckets, we are looking at uh, are they safe to run? Are they productive? Are they economical? And, and all of those are evaluated before a major purchase such as, as a dragline bucket. This bucket is lighter than other styles. The dragline is capable of a total suspended load. Uh, the total suspended load minus the weight of the bucket is the amount of dirt that you're able to carry. So instead of the bucket making up about half of the weight the dragline lifts, it's only about 40%. Also, the shape allows it to lift more dirt. The placement of the chains helps it dump more effectively. Uh, one of the things of having the chains on the inside, uh, if you had to clean the bucket, the chains were in the way. Uh, they also made it harder to carry the bucket. You had to pull it in closer to the machine to pick it up and carry it. And in addition, uh, when the bucket dumped, the chains on the inside would only allow the bucket to go uh, near vertical, but not vertical. The drag line scoops, then reaches out into the pit to dump. This design should help with that, too. Every bit of reach that the dragline can gain uh, helps us. Uh, if the dragline cannot reach the dirt into the spoil pile and build the correct spoil pile, they move less dirt than what they are projected to move, which means another piece of equipment has to pick that up. So it's important to us that the dragline is able to attain its maximum reach. The Cateau Properties Company keeps five buckets in rotation, two of which are this style. They'll be keeping an eye on productivity to decide, will something like the Earth Eater cover the most ground? For Basin Electric, I'm Tracy Battenhausen.